Hello, I'm Rachel from Duenza Garden in Ireland and I'm here to tell you about some late flowering blue perennials for your garden because everyone loves blue flowers. My first plant is the blue globe thistle which makes a fantastic statement at the back of the border. It has spherical blue-grey flower heads that are produced from mid to late summer. When the light catches them they can be quite magical. This plant does best in poor, well-drained soil in full sun, although it will tolerate partial shade. A great and easy plant for either an exposed or sheltered site. It's generally trouble-free. Cut withered stems to the ground in spring, but watch out for its prickly leaves. The blue globe thistle is suitable for US hardiness zones 3 to 8. My second blue flower is the stately African lily or agapanthus. This is a majestic late summer flower that adds a real architecture to any flower bed. Agapanthus comes in many shades of blue from inky blue and pale sapphires to purples and there are even some whites. The deciduous agapanthus are the best ones to look out for as they're hardy and their leaves die down in winter. Evergreen forms are more tender and best grown in a pot and brought under shelter in winter. Grow agapanthus in well-drained soil in full sun. Water regularly and feed in spring. If your plant fails to flower, check it's getting enough sun and that you're feeding it. Failing that, transfer the plant to a pot with a 1-2 to two inch space around the root ball. Some agapanthus need to have their roots constrained to flower. Enjoy the flowers and allow some seed heads to form so you'll have something interesting to look at through winter. My final blue plant for today is the Michaelmas Daisy. There are various varieties but mostly they produce abundant violet blue yellow centred daisies in late summer. They're much loved by butterflies and bees. Grow Michaelmas daisies at the front of a border in a moderately fertile moist soil in full sun or partial shade. Some varieties like the stunning Little Carlo may need staking. Little Carlo is hardy from US zones four to nine. So why not add a little blue to your garden with globe thistles, agapanthus or Michaelmas daisies? Happy growing.